and welcome to back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be go. We are here at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum, and there are multiple airplanes right here. We are the first, the first half of the museum, which only has airplanes. The other half is more about space. So there are multiple planes here. This is just like a small one. A lot of from the U.S. Navy and other stuff. This is the biggest plane in it. The park, it has like four propellers. You can go in there and look at some stuff. So let's go climb up the stairs real quick. This is the... Looks at his engineer who was sitting in the co-pilot seat because Howard was in the pilot. We just exited the main large plate right here. It's like it's huge. Look at that huge wig. This is another... This is a USS Fort Sol plane. So I'm surprised how people could fit in there. And this is a United States Army helicopter. So you can read about it right here. It's called the AF-1 Cobra. Here is another one of those. They're pretty much the same, I'm guessing. So right here we have a little nice larger, small, like a larger plane compared to the average one here. So this is just a space shuttle. NASA. Over Sorry about that. Over here we have another plane. This is as close as we can get up to it. This is the U.S. Air Force. Those are like bullet things right there. This is the one over here. Here's another one of the airplanes it's called the Douglas DC 3A. It's United States Airplane. Wait, is that? A For a second, I thought there was a person in that airplane right there. So we have this one right here, and also. This one has like a really big needle. Lots of them have holes in them. I don't know why they do. Probably like shoot out stuff from them. Because it really wouldn't help with the flying process. I'm guessing this is one of the oldest planes here. Because made out of wood and look at those wheels and stuff. Another USRB, so there's not much to see here. It's more interesting when you're personally here because a lot of this is practically pretty much the same thing. This, this, that plane right there, see that big wing? That wing is all connected to that one plane. Like, look at that, that's massive. That's what surprised me the most. It's like huge. There's a thing in the museum where you can go on that plane, you there, and then you could either fly a plane or. In the cage. Good luck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we have just entered the space museum, which is the other part of it. So there's two. So there's a lot of like, posters, and you can read everything. So if you guys ever come here, you can read pretty much everything in here. Go look at some of the planes and stuff. There's a bunch of timelines everywhere. What is this? 
Power Plus RS thing. Like a rocket over here. There's another rocket over there. So, this is the thing that I'm really interested about. So there's a massive rocket right over here. It goes all the way to the top and all the way down. <laughs> so let's go see what's down there. This is like the launcher. Big so we're at going down right now. Anything over here? Say a launch area. Yeah. Some doors are most likely closed. Now let's go all the way down the stairs. It goes all the way up. As you can see it goes all the way from the roof down to here. So pretty cool. You take the thumbnail. Okay, let's I think this is pretty much it that's down here. Let's go take the elevator up. So all over the place there is these things and if you sit down, I think they start playing. <sighs> if you stand up. Go away. Yeah. That's not how it works. But that's pretty cool. So you could watch this stuff. Here. There's the spinning thing that we can make spin. Back home right now. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Definitely smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.